Hey guys, it's Anna with Adam Phillips, and we are here with Chandler. Hi. And this is a very expensive car model. 170 or 180 bucks, which is a lot. We are cleaning the car right now. Basically getting the grit and stuff out of it. Yeah, getting the grit and all the lint and stuff out of it. This car can sell for hundreds of dollars, and I just stumbled upon it. And it was free, so a friend gave it to me, and he didn't know the actual price of the car. So you got original motor, like a well, you got the motor. It's like original. Yeah, car gurus out there, um, you guys know what's about to happen. But you got the motor and back and stuff that I normally don't see on normal drag cars like this, and. You got actual parachutes, like actual real. Yeah, this so, is a parachute that's uh, also goes more money in the back. Now we are trying to be very delicate with this car while cleaning it. This because of those little pieces that's really fragile. Yeah, like this bumper in the back. I'm flipping it over. We're flipping the car over. And also known is they got drag slicks on it, so drag that's slicks, a plus. Baby. It's like in the front. Now I'm not a big car guy, um, unlike somebody I know that's right next to me. Um, hey, what? Being a car guy is not bad, but we Chandler came over uh, and he was saying, "Oh, well, uh, this car is worth almost 200 bucks," and I said, "Oh, well, I, this obviously." Fine. <laughs> also known is because of a person told me it's in my class. Also known is hashtag know every know everything about car person. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on the tires, but that's normal. Yeah, we're get, we have a, a sink prepared right over here. So um. By the way, guys, adults, car people that think that young people like Chandler. He, I'm you know, turning 12 in two months. December, yeah. And um, December the 1st, which is actually pretty um, handy. Today. I get birthday and Christmas at the same time, so of course. <laughs> so, because it's not, you can't really forget December 1st. But uh, some guys out there just think that since you're young, you don't know a lot about cars. That's not wrong. I only know That's this wrong. stuff because of our race and also people in my class tells me this stuff. And also I can hear. I got real good ears so I can hear on good drama. Yeah, but how long have you been racing, Chandler? I've been racing ever since I was about five years old. And that's saying something. He's got six years of experience. So I can tell you all the parts of racetrack. Uh, hot, low, and then hot and shields. All right, Chandler, tell us what you're using to clean the car. I got a fork. Uh, I'm going to use the end of the fork. Just take it like this and put it in the rag. And basically, I'm just going to wipe the tires off as we go. And this is basically getting the tires clean. This is basically what they do after a race. What I do normally is I just take a pressure washer and wash my tires off. I need to put this stuff over here on the other table. Yeah, we have a, another table um, used for other stuff. Um, by the way, um, we are still in school, obviously, but you say, well, why are you out of school? Well, it's Columbus Day. Happy Columbus Day. Nobody cares about Columbus. Except for and also, history we get tomorrow off because of Ooh. it. More, to, more videos. Because of it. Um, um, but yeah. So we need to be really concentrated while cleaning this car. And a lot of people are like, just bathe it in the sink. Just No, because you know. of, of the back material. So, yeah, the parachute, the parachute is made out of uh, lavender, well, not lavender material, but a special material. Fabric. Yeah, fabric. Yeah, it's like a stiff fabric. But it's like a stiff fabric, and but if you like get it wet, it can root, like it can come to pieces. So that's great. 
Now look at that. The show on this the material of the wall seat belts, like the seat belts are real. And also, I just noticed this a few just a few minutes ago once we was in the video. I just noticed those actual basically a material type and those an e brake on the passenger side at somehow it somebody made there. So that's great. If you don't know what e brake is, it's basically a fast brake. Did you get the fork and like dig back there? Yeah, stuff? I got I got the back there. Okay. But it's too big to go back there. We'll tell you the total cost at the end of it once we've uh, cleaned it. We're going to take pictures of it and maybe sell it in a couple years. But the older it basically sits around and collects dust, the more time we got to wash it. Okay. And by the way, it's not in complete mint condition because I did have to super glue the, the window back on. Just for clarification. I won't say mint condition just because of the looks of the motor. Yeah, I can say motor, it close. would be a 250 motor with yeah. a blower on top. Pause and this video and just kind of look at that motor. These wings could be worth about a normal actual, like, real car. We're going to clean, clean. Yeah, clean, we're going to clean, clean that. All the, all, all the but, other fix but, it some loose and stuff. But this could be worth about, in real life, could be worth about 800 bucks on a normal drag 800 car. 800 bucks on a normal drag car. And this little normal. piece right here is the fan. Basically cools everybody off in the car. Also known as the OC. And, like, I'm no car expert, but just looking at it, it's pretty expensive. Even non-car non people can know that that's pretty expensive. But right now we are done cleaning it, and I'm just going to go across the whole car real quick to start cleaning it. And while he's doing that, I'll show you a little something also that we that we had. This is a... Um, Harley that could Davidson be that could bike. be about worth maybe seventeen bucks. Let me could be twenty if it gets older. Yeah, and that's it, uh, my same friend that gave me the car. I will not tell his name for privacy reasons, but he gave me the bike and the car, which was very and nice. And he is a real good person. He's a good person. Um, he's my friend, but he's not really Chandler's friend. I don't know if Chandler really knows him that well. I don't know him that that well, but go check out my channel. Yep, Jimmy this Mitchell. is uh, Jimmy Mitchell. Um, go check out his channel. He does a bunch of race car stuff and weird videos. Check yeah, he out. doesn't post very often, but his videos are pretty good, so you should watch them. He just does general stuff, kind of like I do. I try to mix it up. It's old shaking the bag, kind of. And sorry if this is kind of tedious and boring and stuff, but in post production it'll probably be less probably, tedious. But this is taking about ten minutes. But what we normally do a drag car it goes like this right here and put these wheels down like the front comes up. But if you have this, you don't want one of these big wings on it like sticking up in there because also it slows your car down. Yeah, but you might need to. I'm going to get all the fixes and stuff and kind of just give a light okay. polish of water. Also, put, get a name for the bike and we'll oh, use it's it. It's not in frame. It's oh. A bike. Or yeah. A tire. The bike. Sorry if it's pretty long and tedious, but I mean, it. this is a really expensive car, so we really don't want to mess it up. Alright, so let's put We all the, are basically finished and let yeah, me let's put, put all the stuff on. Let me put all the stuff on because I'm proper. But so normally let's get the lighting right. Oh, almost three hour apart. And this this goes on the top like this. Look at that. And then uh, we'll give you little shots and um, roll the beauty shots. So, 
that car was worth a grand total of 218 bucks. That's a lot of money, especially for a little 11 year old kid. Also, I looked it up. I looked it up on eBay while he wasn't watching, so. You looked it up on eBay? Yes, I did. How do you? Actually, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. But, guys, that'll be it for today's episode of Cleaning Cars While Spinning remember, Bars. Remember, go check out my channel, Jimmy Mitchell. So, Yep, go check out his channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.